What's going on people? This is Jay Ghost and this is kind of more of a uh, response to Jimmy Mellows and her video in regards to her opinion on police officers. Now, cops are very, very controversial nowadays. They've been controversial for a long time because they have a lot of advantages against the, the public that they're supposed to be serving. And there's an economic way to do this, but I'm going to try to sit here and keep it more to a historical perspective. I know that I do a lot of economic stuff, and I'm still going to be doing a lot more in the near future. But this is kind of more of a historical perspective to try to sit here and explain what has been going on. About law enforcement in general, to give this sentiment that they don't care about the public, which unfortunately, with the money incentive, with them being deprived of funds, and all this other great stuff that's done economically, it is hurting us like um, in terms of our relation to police officers. A lot of this started in the 1950s. The reason that I say that it started in the 1950s, we had won the war, but we also began to have a military police state, which Truman had inst began and Eisenhower had warned us against but it would continue to sit here and shape and influence our culture here in the United States. Not a lot of people understand this and I could go into detail about minority rights of all sorts, not only gay rights in the FBI when ironically J. Edgar Hoover was the biggest gay person there. Um, but there's the point is that everything that's set up in the 1950s you would have that being countered in the 1970s, which basically meant that, you know, all of this rebellion, all of this rebelliousness would be crushed by the 80s and 90s. Uh, in the 70s, you would have the Black Panther Party, which is probably one of the biggest examples out there of what was going on in terms of a black person having a gun. Black people having rights, they were trying to fight for their rights through the Black Panther Party as well as Martin Luther King's um, more social democrat um, style. These were people fighting for the Civil Rights Act as well as other things and pushing JFK, LBJ and all of these other people into a more progressive position. When I say progressive, I mean center right. Um, center-right type politics where they're trying to sit here and push for liberal politics but they're being pushed by the mass of people to sit here and address these issues and concerns that weren't addressed beforehand in the 70s i mean nixon would begin to have the drug war the reason that i say that if you look into the schaefer commission which i'll put into the underbar the Schaefer Commission was basically where Nixon said, screw what you all were talking about, marijuana, I'm going to criminalize it because X, Y, Z reason. The main reasons were he wanted to have something in the war on drugs to sit here and begin to go after his political opponents. I mean, Nixon was a crazy guy and I can do a very large, very drawn out like um, look into his life, but I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon tried to do it before and it pretty much failed and I'll have to redo that video but anyway um, the 1980s we had Reagan that came into being and when he came into power he pretty much started the cops program which is what militarized our police force when they are militarized they are no longer considered a community police force if you're a community police for police officer you're kind of more to walk the beat, try to understand everybody, talk about their lives, see what who is causing trouble for what. But we have the drug war and we have militarized police force. They, they started under two different presidents. And every president ever since has basically been doing more of the same thing. Bill Clinton was funding the cops program a lot, especially with Rahm Emanuel, who right now is trying to screw up Chicago more and more and more and more for his liberal policies. I could get more into that, but I'm trying to keep it, you know, brief and simple so people can understand uh, what has been going on. Um, it, not everything was done under like president, like conservative presidents. The liberal presidents have been doing a lot of crazy nonsense themselves. Something that I have to criticize 
um, Bill Clinton for as well as uh, Barack Obama because they've been doing the exact same things. Uh, George Bush, both senior and junior, have been have been known to do these things, but they got more flack for it from the Liberal Party, while the Liberal parties have basically been just doing this more, much more quietly, you know, to sit here and appease. Now, why do all of this? Well, it's a form of control. The drug war is a form of control. You criminalize the, the poorest people, and when you criminalize them, you take away any type of power that they have. The biggest power that people have is the power to vote. Um, if you look into Paul Rarick, he didn't want people to vote because if they voted, they would sit here and influence politics far more than if they could be deprived of the vote. And while you're depriving them of the vote, you're also taking away all of their strength when you put them up, lock them away for 20 years, and then on top of that, you have you see what happens with the military industrial complex. The prison industrial complex also makes more money off of people by putting them in jail en masse. And then when they're in jail en masse, they can't do anything. They're taken to these rural areas, and when they're taken into those rural areas, they make those areas much more powerful and get more subsidies and everything else than what's going on in say Chicago Alabama consider Chicago versus Alabama which one is going to get more money probably Alabama because they have more prisoners that's exactly what's happening because one of the sub subscriptions that I have is the free Alabama movement and what's what I'm finding out is the people that are in prison they have to work for say 10 cents an hour they are not getting paid now think about what's going on with our labor movement right now we have 47 million people unemployed that are going hungry for and that number is only increasing while we have more people that are becoming millionaires and billionaires that are very very small number of people at the top while everyone else underneath is suffering this is considered an austerity program where the government is trying to make money but it's appealing to these rich people instead of, say, doing super taxes. Now, again, that's economics. I'm trying to keep that out of here. But you can see where this is going with it. Um, other problems and other parts of this issue is the fact that without that community police, police force, you basically lose a lot of humanity from the police officers. And that's why you have a lot of them that are say killing people they have this us versus them complex and just from my experience they aren't being trained in a number of areas where they could be um, trained to have good public relations in some way shape or form they instead try to shoot first and ask questions later because let's think about this for a second if you have a very expensive court case from having someone alive what happens when they're dead? You can make up any, any, um, you can basically make up any story that you want. Now, I'm not trying to be cynical here, but this has happened. This has happened in a number of areas with a number of people that have basically been killed for a number of reasons. Um, what was it? The poor man in California, he was homeless. And the police basically got on top of him, crushed his larynx, beat him to a bloody pulp. His father was a sheriff. And basically, even though you saw him beaten to a bloody pulp, one of them pretty much said that we got off. I think both of them did. And they got off for crazy reasons. Now, what happens when you lose that community force? Pretty much you have what you have now where the investigation force finds things, keeps it hidden, so that way the police can continue to do what they do. And there's plenty of stories that are going like that. But what I'm going to sit here and do, I'm going to sit here and show you to the study where basically police officers aren't being killed on the job. This is the best type of job security, 391 since 2007. But you can see more and more that the police officers, you know, aren't held accountable to the public. They are only held accountable to themselves, which is why you have this blue code of silence. 
it's something to look into and there's probably plenty more to say but this is getting into 10 minute mark and pretty much I just wanted to sit here and say you know I do agree with a lot of things probably the only thing that I really won't agree with is the fact that you need a serial path serial killer to try to <laughs> look at somebody else or try to kill somebody because we've had that before we've had two occasions of that um, Chris Dorner killed at least three cops he didn't kill people and then the police officers pretty much like napalmed him in that cabin um, during the summer of 2013 I believe or something something to that effect I think maybe it was winter I haven't I haven't re uh, remembered the story quite yet but I'll pre pretty much put that in the underbar as well about Chris Dorner you know people still sit here and joke about how you can't corner the door um, the other one that's more recent is to have that militia force with uh, in Las Vegas in Vegas I believe or Nevada um, with the Bundy guy or whatever his name is I haven't been paying attention to that story I saw the militia and I was like yeah I'm gonna leave this one alone but for the most part they fight the government and pretty much put like libertarians on blast um, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not a big fan of trying to kill police officers. I try to sit here and hopefully we can try to change that by instituting economic democracy. And if anybody wants to know more about it, I'll be, be um, sure to put up a video later on to sit here and try to explain my views a bit better. But otherwise, I hope you all enjoy the links at the bottom. And if y'all have any questions, be sure to let me know. I'll try to make another video about this and hopefully clear up anything that is um, unknown or demystify any problems that are, that are coming from this. So I'll talk to you all later. Y'all take care.